Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And if you guys saw the Marvel video today, we're attacking the latest two Marvel What If episodes, the Doctor Strange one and the Marvel Zombie one. I know, I don't know why I keep saying Marvel, but speaking of Marvel, you're going to be seeing some Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 gameplay in the background. Make sure to enjoy that, and uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Now, at the time of recording this, it is September 8th. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be posting this, probably... Uh, you know, soon after that, but I'm going to be seeing Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings soon. Uh, you'll be seeing that on, on the 9th, so look forward to that. It's probably already out, but who knows. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so uh, this Doctor Strange episode, I heard, you know, good things about it, and look, uh, the previous What If episodes, I really enjoyed them. I, I don't think they were, like, mind-blowingly amazing, but, you know, for the first animated Marvel stuff, it was very, very well done, very awesome, uh, and it definitely is deserving of the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, brand, and then, uh, the Doctor Strange one came out, and holy crap did it blow me away, the animation is amazing, dude, the, 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 the anime style battle in the end, uh, the voice acting is great, Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch is, is very good at, at voice acting, Doctor Strange, uh, of course, like I said, the, you know, all the voice actors, all the actors come back to voice themselves, for the most part, Wong, the ancient one, uh, Doctor Strange, all that, and, uh, you know, that's really cool. But yeah, the animation was spectacular, uh, and I really, really, really liked the story. I thought that was really freaking well done. Very, very awesome. Uh, the fact that uh, Steven's trying to kind of reverse time and kind of cheat death uh, for, you know, the, the, the woman that he loves, and uh, he's trying all these different, you know, of course, in the, in the actual Doctor Strange movie, he gets in a car crash and he F's his hands up, and this one... He, he F's his girl up, and, uh, you know, at first it was like, oh, that's interesting, and then they kind of go back in time with the Eye of Agamotto, right, and they kind of do all these things, and uh, at first it was kind of funny, because it's, like, it's almost like a, a montage, you know, of just this girl effing dying, you know, getting shot, burning, blowing up, having a heart attack, getting hit by trucks, at first it's like, holy shoot, you know, like, this guy, he can't catch a freaking break, you know, this, this chick dies, like, every day, you know, and that's kind of the point of it, you know, it's, it's, it's meant to... Uh, kind of instill in the audience that, yeah, this woman dies because she has to die, you know. If she doesn't die, Stephen won't become Doctor Strange, and, you know, all of this stuff, so really, it's a necessary casualty, it's a necessary loss. And Stephen's like, F that, I'm gonna do everything in my power to try to save her. And, uh, of course, the episode ends with, with you know, evil Doctor Strange and, and good Doctor Strange kind of having a little tussle, a little fight, and uh, it literally ends with... The, the universe effing itself. It just... Not not physically, but... It, it, it screws itself over. That's it. Like, it, we're done. Uh, you lose. And, you know, he turns into this... In order to save his... Uh, his lover, you know, his girl, he he basically in, ingests and and kind of you know uh, sucks in all these evil entities, right? Like a, like I, not necessarily Mephisto, but you know like a devilish creature, big like freaking snake, like Davy Jones thing, uh, squid thing. And then there's a really great and I guess beautiful metaphor of you know when he finally does save her, uh, it, it quite literally is Beauty and the Beast. You know, it's this this woman. And the, 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 the man that's holding this woman is Doctor Strange, but he looks like a freaking demon monster from hell, you know? And it's just a striking metaphor of not only does he look weird, but the actions he did replicate what he looks like. This is without a doubt, without a doubt, uh, the most deep and metaphorical and, and, and mature uh, Marvel thing I've ever seen, ever. And this is the animated show What If. A lot of people, uh, you know, normally uh, boomer older people, go, oh, animation's for children. Animation's for babies. And you know how I feel, right? Animation is for all ages. SpongeBob, regular show, Adventure Time, Ninjago, all that. Kids, teens, and adults, it's for everyone. Uh, and because this show is animated, a lot of people look down on it and go, oh, well, I'm not going to watch that because it's for babies. It's animated, you know? Just like, oh, I don't watch The Clone Wars. I don't watch Rebels. I don't watch Resistance. I don't watch The Bad Batch. Why? Oh, that's animated. That's for babies. But I watched The Mandalorian. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just that hypocrisy. It's that stigma that animation is for children. And if anything, this is, trust me, this is rated TV-14, and a holy shite, let me just tell you, like I said, this is an animated show for, you know, teenagers 14 and up, and it really is the most mature thing I've ever seen from the MCU. Really, I mean, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, it's, it's just, it's the most mature thing. It's uh, metaphorical, it makes you think, uh, and it really, this episode ends with literal death. Everyone dies because of one guy's stupid decision. It's insane. It really makes you think, you know. And yeah, there's a cool badass fight in the end, but it really makes you think, wow, 
you know, that 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 effing happened, you know. Jesus, that really happened. Uh, so yeah, Doctor Strange is a great episode, one of the best episodes of the, sh- definitely the best episode of the show, and one of the best animated episodes I've probably ever watched out of any animated show that really is is you know in that mature metaphorical standard, kind of like stuff in, something like Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, Ninjago. Something like that. This is up there with with the best of those. It's very very well made. Uh, and then the next we have these zombies, which uh, I think the, a lot of people were looking forward to this one the most. This was probably the most heavily marketed aspect, you know, because it's cool. You know, what if the Avengers and what if everyone turned into zombies? Right? Zombies are still cool. Hell yeah. You know, Dying Light's a great game. Looking forward to Dying Light too. Uh, my buddy uh, gave me The Walking Dead season one. I'm gonna watch that pretty soon. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest zombie fan, but you know, it's it's kind of. They're cool, I guess, and, uh, you know, seeing, uh, these zombie things, whole, let me just say, this is, like, this is effed up, this is really effing crazy, because you get, uh, you know, like, these, uh, I, look, I didn't expect this shite to happen, I, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect this stuff to happen, because Bruce Banner's in the beginning, right, and he's like, oh, what's going on, <laughs> and look, Mark Ruffalo's a good actor, he's not a good voice actor, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think Mark Ruffalo was a good voice actor at all, he was very flat, very bad, um, it's not like I'm a paid voice actor, but hell, I can do voices, so, you know, I, I know something. Um, and I didn't like him, but I liked everyone else. Uh, I don't think that was Tom Holland playing Peter Parker. It sounded pretty good, but I don't think it was him. Uh, Okoye, different, I think. Chadwick Boseman, sadly, he passed away, we all know. Uh, he was playing T'Challa again. Um, so voice actors, for the most part, were pretty good. But, uh, you know, just seeing the zombie aspect was really cool. You know, seeing them, because, uh, again, you know, it's an animated show. You kind of think, oh, can't, what, you know, what can they get? What is for teenagers and up? What is... Uh, you know, what are the standards? What can they get away with? And they just say, fuck it. And they go, well, you know, we're killing these guys. Screw it. Balls to the wall. They People get decapitated and heads are flying off. People go, uh, the wasp goes inside of a zombie and blows them up from the inside. And, like, black goo goes everywhere. People get bisected and its limbs go off. It's gory. It's, it's definitely, and I know it's animated, but, and I know it's not necessarily canon, but MCU standards, this zombie episode is... Uh, without a doubt, the most bloody and gory thing we've seen from the MCU. And look, it makes sense, because when you're dealing with zombies, you're going to have that, you know. The only reason they can get away with probably beheading people and literally cutting people down the middle and the side, it's violent and gory as schliz. But the reason why I think they can get away with it is, one, it's animated, and two, they're zombies. Technically... That shouldn't matter, you know, like, Cars 2 is a movie where cars shoot guns and kill other cars, but that's rated G, but Tintin is rated PG only because humans handle the guns. Shouldn't matter because a car handling a gun is the same effing thing as a dude handling a gun. Anyway, whatever, doesn't matter, screw it. But this is entirely epic. It's epic. It's so freaking cool, it's amazing. You're seeing these zombies blowing up, and, you know, there's a plot in there, too, which I enjoyed. Um... It was cool, you know, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't as profound or, like, holy crap as the Doctor Strange one, but it was cool. I enjoyed it, you know, seeing the zombies get blown up and shot and destroyed. Really, really cool, I liked that, and, uh, again, I had full, I had a lot of fun with it. I think there was a really cool moment of silence where the Wasp kind of um, sacrifices herself. I thought that was pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, you know, I really did. I thought that this is not my favorite one so far. My favorite so far is the Doctor Strange one, but uh, in terms of just sheer watching it and just, like, kicking back, and be like, man, that was freaking cool. Zombies is really sick. It's a really good episode, really fun, really, sc- uh, not scary, but, you know, there's a few, they're trying to channel horror elements. Makes sense, right? Zombies. And uh, I enjoyed it. I really did. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Doctor Strange and Zombie review. I'll probably give Doctor Strange a 10 out of 10, and Zombies probably, like, an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed both of them. And, uh, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think about them down below. What was your favorite, Doctor Strange or the Zombies? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the LEGO Marvel 2 gameplay. Um, I know I kind of missed one, but I haven't been getting the best views on these What If episode reviews. I'm just going to straight up tell you. That's why I didn't do it for a while, but I had a few subscribers who were like, Franchise, are you going to do it? So I'm like... Fine, I'll do it. Screw it. You know. And look, I I don't mind. I love watching the show. I love doing reviews. I love filming gameplay. So it's not a hassle. It's just you know I wish I was getting more views on this series, but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, again, I'll probably be back next Wednesday or whenever I can. Uh, you know, with the next one. And I can't wait, guys. This is a really good show. And people who are skipping it because it's animated are, one, just hypocrites, and two, uh, missing out on a great Marvel property, a great Marvel aspect of this MCU. It's fantastic, and I cannot wait to see more again. Doctor Strange blew me away, and the Zombies was really fun. 
just the right amount of gore and violence and just insane stuff that was happening. And it really, if anything, this What If show, again, it's not canon. It's literally saying what if blank happened to blank or with blank. But it's that matter of, you know, okay, that's interesting. But it's more its more than just sitting, oh, okay, that was kind of cool. You know, that was, that was interesting. You know, what if uh, Iron Man was, I don't know, what if Tony Stark never became Iron Man? You know, whatever. Okay, that's cool. But then they do something with it that's an actually good story. And again, uh, closing thoughts with the zombies, none of this stuff is canon. None of this stuff matters. Nothing. Because we know what happens in the real MCU. You know, we know. But even though it doesn't matter... This has such good writing and good storytelling and good acting, for the most part, that it really makes you care. Even though you know nothing matters, it matters because it's so well done and so well crafted. So again, hopefully, uh, you know, we get more of these good episodes with, uh, what are we on, F and 6 or something? Anyway, I can't wait. Very, very cool. Very awesome. This is a great show. It really is, like, straight up. I love it. You know, at first I was like, this is pretty good. You know, they can do better. And uh, each episode, like, you know, like a good TV show, you don't want to stop. And man, do I not want to stop. Anyway, guys, tell me in the comments what you think about these two uh, down below. We'll get a little conversation going. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.